Okay. So, let's see here. Just gonna read this first. Welcome to Cosa 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. Partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Uh, fortune teller. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley? Welcome, welcome. The spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Uh. Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir-fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's lovely. No, wait. Oh, that's good. Ah, fuck it. Okay. Yay, I learned a recipe. So, anyway, people, welcome back to Stardew Valley. My name is Frostshade, and there's a letter. Let's see. Dear Chris, how are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you left. I hope the farming life is everything you hoped for. Love, Mom. P.S. I sent your favorite cookies. Mmm. I love being sent cookies through the mail. Quite lovely. Oh, another one. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake, in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your... rat problem. M. Resmodius. Wizard. Okay. So anyway, welcome back to Stardew Valley. My name is Frostshade. And... I'm gonna be watering the crops, so... I'm just gonna cut this out, so BRB. Ah... <sighs> Thank god. I have so many crops right now. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, apparently the rocks have been moving around. Uh, those, dar those damn rocks. Always moving around thinking that they're something. But they're not something. They're just in my way. Well, then again, that is actually something, so my statement has been completely void up until this point. Well, whatever. So, today it is Lewis's birthday. Mayor Lewis's birthday. So, I feel almost inclined to actually give him a decent gift. Because giving somebody a decent gift on their birthday is usually a good way to start your relationship with them. And Mayor Lewis is, well, he's the mayor. So getting on good terms with him is probably a decent idea. So what do you have for sale? Battery pack? Hmm. Barbed hook? Meh. Bug meat? Bullhead? Trap bobber? An orange sapling for 4,000? Hmm. Well, you literally have nothing that I desire, so fuck off. Well, this week. I mean, you never know. Might have something of value later on. Eh. So I'm gonna be visiting the wizard. So, I guess we're gonna have a nice, comfortable talk with him. Ah, uh, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediator between physical and ethereal. Master of the Seven Elementals. Keeper of the Secret Shop. You get the point. And you, Chris. The one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here. I'd like to show you something. Okie dokie. Behold. Uh-huh. It squeaks. Okay. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yeah? They call themselves the Unimos. Mysterious spirits, spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Okay. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm? 
You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. I found a note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Okay. Hmm. One with the forest. What do they mean? <laughs> Aha! Come here. Um... Okay. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Um... Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Uh... Mm. Lovely. Oh, would you look at that? There's a giant fucking moth inside of my room. That was interesting while it lasted. It has now gone behind my monitor. I cannot see it. Anyway, I don't have any interest in watching any more of this because it's literally just the same. It's literally just gonna show me the trees. Whatever. Actually, should I maybe talk to him? Possibly. I just want to see if he has anything else to say. I sometimes, ob I sometimes observe the local villagers in secret. Dude. I'm hoping to find an apprentice. Someday, I will leave this mortal plane, but my arcane pursuits must continue. Dude, you watched them in secret? You fucking purr. Well... I guess so long as he's just watching. But it depends on the time. Because if he's watching them, you know, in the middle of the evening or the night, Chances are that they're just about to go to bed, and they are undressing. Which would mean that he would get a nice little peek of the women of this town getting undressed. Hmm. Maybe he is a pervert after all. Well, whatever. To each their own, I'd say. So, why am I down here, you might ask? I'm just looking for, uh, more spring onions. Basically, because I kind of don't have a lot of energy, as you can clearly see, and eating a couple of cookies is not exactly going to suffice. Hi, Leah. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. Okay. I mean, it's good to know that you're not murdering someone inside. Hmm. Oh yeah, Mayor Lewis's birthday. Gonna have to check the salon, see if they have anything to offer. Cause I literally have nothing to give him except for possibly cookies and a piece of bread. Hi Evelyn. Aww, oh, nothing in trash. Sad. What do you have? Beer. Fried calamari. So I'm actually going to be looking at my phone real quick. Uh, damn. It's not one of his favorites. Pity. Vegetable medley, glazed jams, autumn's bounty, and hot pepper. Those are his favorites, apparently. But one of his mild favorites is apparently beer. 
so I'm just gonna p purchase one of them. I might as well give him, you know, a decent gift while I have an opportunity to do so, because it is his birthday. Mayor Lewis. Okay. Mayor Lewis, are you around here, buddy? There you are. Ooh, a notice. Does anyone have an extra sardine laying around? Marnie. <sighs> That's easy. That's simplistic. Incredibly simple. Uh, shit. Might as well give uh, Mayor Lewis the beer. You remember my birthday? Thank you. This is great. Ah, uh, indeed it is. I now have a heart with him for minimal effort and 400 gold. Or gill. Or glitter. I, I don't know. Whatever. So, what are my ma main plans for today? Well, not much in all, honestly. I don't have all that much energy to spend, but I do have bread and cookies, actually. So I could actually go down into the mines and begin, you know, my little quest for better gear. And possibly iron and such things. Ooh, a catfish in the garbage. Hmm. <laughs> Well, that's good. Hmm. It's Sunday, so there's no point in giving people anything. Right? No, Sunday is the day when it resets, apparently. Because I've already given George two things this week, and yet it's been reset now. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's good. So, anyway, I'm just gonna go down to the beach. I'm gonna start fishing. And I'm probably gonna skip, you know, the whole fishing part. Because some people may or may not find it boring. They wanna see quick gameplay. So, that's what I'm gonna be offering today. So, BRB. Okay, so I actually stayed out quite late, and I managed to get a halibut, but uh, didn't ma I didn't make much money, sadly. I hope... Let's see. I hope that today is today when the salmon berries are actually coming. Let's see, weather report here. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller, blah blah blah. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. <laughs> living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Okay, good tips. So, let's go ahead and get my trusty watering can out. Uh... Mm, yeah, 